So peer review is, is really the heart of the scientific process and it's really essential for improving the quality of papers and gives the editors who are not necessarily experts a great guidance about whether to accept publications and how to improve them. Peer review is at the heart of research. It's central to everything we do and it's the thing that allows us to really trust the research that's published and the literature that's out there. It is also a, a very important way to improve uh, research before it's published. I really do believe that reviewing can improve a paper, um, particularly in interdisciplinary fields like my own. It's difficult for everyone to be an expert in every single aspect of it and often a reviewer can um, make some suggestions that really do improve the work. So science is a game of trust. You just need to look at the community's reaction to retracted results or fabricated results and the betrayal people feel to realise that. And on a whole, large surveys have shown that jobbing researchers and academics do trust the system. They believe it works. They believe that it improves the article and reduces errors. And therefore, the big challenge facing us is how we can live up to that trust. There are many, many things that are important. So you want subject knowledge, you want their reputation, you want their network. But the fundamentally most important thing is the editor has to be enthusiastic and interested in the journal and the subject area. So everything else pales if the editor's not committed. So I think that students are really important in the peer review process. And as an editor, uh, actually some of the best reviews I ever got were from students. They're very diligent and give very detailed reviews. Of course, they don't have the deep knowledge and overview that senior researchers have. Um, and so I think the combination of junior and senior researchers uh, really gives the best, best possible reviews. Um, actually for me to learn about how to write and to, to see how other people explain it and, and that actually helps me to become a better writer myself, I hope. It depends a lot on the length and also on the complexity of the paper. I think it's probably at least half a day for me typically and probably most commonly a day and sometimes two or, or more if it's a very long or very complicated piece of work. There's very little incentive for an academic to review and genuinely they do do it because of a community feeling. So we need to recognise this and we really need to change it so that peer review is viewed as an equal contribution as original research itself. I think there are four key things. The first thing is obviously awareness and understanding of the importance of review. Then recognising the people who participate in the process. Um, helping to train them and do a better job of peer review. And then finally building tools to improve the overall review and editorial process.